Hi and welcome back guys and uh, happy new year by the way it's 2020 and it is my first video of this decade at least I think it is because I don't remember when I posted my last video but this for me is the first video of the decade and we can celebrate it with that by talking about my finished night tattoo Woo so I finally finished it and I did keep a promise to myself that I was going to finish it right after New Year's and I did that on the 3rd of January we finished it and I am really, really happy about it. I love how it looks, I love how it feels, and everything is just beyond great. Today, I will just share the story in general on from start to finish, what are my thoughts, what are my tips for you when getting a neck tattoo. So first things first, I did not vlog my journey of getting my neck finished because, I'm sorry for that guys, but because on the day I was with my boyfriend, we were both getting tattooed on the same day. I wasn't feeling too well, so I just thought I'm I'm not gonna vlog. Also because the journey was the exact same as it was from my previous vlog. Previously, I only had it shaded up until like here, only this lower part, and so we shaded in my neck. It is still healing, it is still scabbing, and I'm sorry if you can see it shine a little bit, it's because I moisturized it, because the scabs are starting to hurt, because if I twist my neck, it felt, it felt like I was cracking something, so I moisturized it. About our last session, so I did use numbing cream again, and I use the same one as I used in my vlog, which was the TKTX. I'll throw up a picture of it right here. I use it again because it worked as a charm in the first time and also I did order some other numbing creams but they did not come on time. Uh, so I just used what I had. I will be going in and trying other numbing creams and I'm gonna get my other tattoos done so don't worry about that. I will still keep you updated on my numbing cream journey. But today talking about my neck tattoo, so the last session was surprisingly actually painful which actually is funny because I think there are a few factors indicating that. <laughs> the first time when I was going to get my neck shaded, I used the numbing cream. It worked like a charm and, uh, and I did not feel anything. I was so happy about it. So I expected it to be like that the next time around. So when I was getting my upper neck shaded, it did hurt. There were some spots that were completely numb and some spots really, really hurt. I think there are two factors. First of all, I put on the numbing cream and before that I was trying to like wash my chest like just like to get it clean so the cream works better you know maybe I didn't prepare it the way I should and the numbing cream was just not working entirely or I did not keep it long enough that is like my main guess I think I didn't keep it long enough on me so that can be a reason why it worked not as much like it was it was better than without it completely, but there were some spots that were really, really still feelable, if that's a word. So yeah, I did end up uh, having a low-key pain session because my numbing cream wasn't working its 100%. We did finish the neck tattoo, but we still wanted some things done with it. For example, I will still have to go in and get this neck tattoo like connected with the rest of my tattoos and body, if you know what I mean, because right now it looks like just a separate standalone piece, but we want it to like get be connected with my shoulders for example, on this side it has like a big gap and here it's like a bit closer, but still we want to connect it as well. We want some dot work shading down here and up here. So it kind of goes almost all the way up to my jawline. So we still have to get that done, but the piece itself is completely done. Going on talking about the healing process. So right now it has been like four days and it's fine. I mean, it doesn't hurt. And I'm surprised, I was expecting my neck to swell up after the shading, but it didn't. Well, it did a little. It was a little, you know, like when you're having a tattoo, just a little. But I've seen people's like necks swell up a lot after they have gotten like a really colored in neck tattoo. Uh, mine maybe isn't that colored in, but still I was expecting it to swell up and it didn't. All in all, I really love the feeling of a finished tattoo. Uh, let me guys know what you think about it. I think I personally like it a lot. It is my my 
now recent favorite piece but that's what happens with every new tattoo that i get it's my favorite for a while and then later on i just love all of my tattoos equally again <laughs> moving on to the whole journey itself and some tips i can give you if you're gonna get a neck tattoo or a neck and chest tattoo let me summarize the uh, neck tattoo journey in general first of all so it was very long for me also because i took a huge gap in between getting my lines done and getting my shading done this neck tattoo took me four sessions it would have taken three because the first session we did all the lines but only later we realized we needed to extend it so we added more lines then half a year passed we got it shaded in here then a few weeks later we got it shaded up here so actually i could have gotten it done pretty quickly but it was just me being busy and not being able to go and get tattooed and um, as well Emil's my tattoo artist being very busy at the same time. So I'm sorry, it's getting a bit chilly in here because it's not that warm, it's winter outside and uh, I'm just sitting here in this little crop top. So I showed you my tattoo so I can just not like low-key cover myself up a little <laughs> and look all bougie. Pain-wise, I can only speak half of it because I got my lines both times done without any numbing creams and already then it was really really bad for me personally i know people that are out there and telling me that their neck tattoos didn't hurt or didn't hurt as much as i am describing it but it's it's like different for everybody seriously i can only share my experience but i can't tell you that it's gonna be the exact same for you so i'm just sharing my experience uh so for me first off it was really really bad and I immediately knew that I was not gonna be able to sit through another session while getting my neck shaded in without numbing cream because a lot of people say that getting lines done is more painful than getting shading done. Maybe it is if the shading is like light shading. This is not light shading, this is entirely black work and you know that does not take light strokes. It is going in and just shading it all black, checking twice if you have done it evenly, going over again, that is painful. I think comparing those two lines are nothing. Black shading is the worst. It's really bad, pain-wise, of course. And since I have had experience with that, I just knew I was not gonna let myself be in exhausting pain. So I chose to use numbing cream for the shading part and my reason for that is not only so i'm not in pain but also so it's easier for the tattoo artist and you want to avoid the pain as much as possible use numbing cream only before if you have never used numbing cream or something like that first of all do your research second of all tell that to your tattoo artist that you're planning on using numbing cream so he knows beforehand because Anything can happen and it is good that your tattoo note artist knows what you have been doing. So sometimes people will get reactions to numbing creams and the tattoo artist will know what to do. And so it's just like, just inform your tattoo artist before you want to use numbing cream, okay? So yeah, pain wise, it was really, really bad. And even when I was getting my neck shaded with the numbing cream, there were still some spots that I did feel. Not the first session where I got my bottom half shaded in but the uh, upper half there were still some spots that even with numbing cream were painful they were still bearable but it were, they were painful and i cannot imagine how bad it would be without the numbing cream so it saved me a lot <laughs> i don't know what else i can add to this whole story i probably missed so many things i wanted to say but i'm just like pouring it all out so if you have any questions really feel free to comment down below i will try to answer every single one of you. So I hope you're gonna have an awesome 2020, guys, and I wish you all the best. Uh, and with that said, I can end this video, but before that, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. You take me, you take me.